Hi, my name is Robert. This video is designed to give you step-by-step -step detailed instructions on completing the task at hand. Please read the comments in the About section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. Starting off the day back here at Peaches, it's having a little bit of a rough idle when it first starts up. It's sputtering and stuff like that. So I'm going to read the codes. I fired it up and it was stumbling a little bit, but there was no check engine light at this time and no codes. So I got some flammable brake parts cleaner. You can use this or starter fluid to spray around your intake manifold and see if there's some leaks. As you can see there, it says extremely flammable. That's the kind you want. You do not want the non-flammable kind because it will not uh, interrupt your idle when it's idling. So let me show you how to check around the intake manifold for leaks. I popped the hood. I removed the injector little uh, guard there for the wires. Now I have better access to the intake manifold gasket. You can also remove this thing here, but I like the brake parts cleaner because it has the little spout on there. So what you want to do is start the car and spray around the edges of the intake manifold gasket. While the engine is running and you're spraying around the intake manifold and other uh, intake lines, if there's a leak or a, a part of the engine that's not sealed properly, the idle should change. It may rev up or something like that. So let's start the vehicle and see how this is going to work out for us. All right, so I got the little spout on there. It sprays like that. Let me fire the car up and let's see if we can find an intake leak. The car is running and it seems pretty smooth. So Now I'm going to get down there around the intake gasket. I don't see any or hear any changes in the idle. And that's what you're looking for, some changes in the idle. That would indicate that the engine is sucking in some of the brake parts cleaner. I can't find any leaks, but this is how you check it. Okay, that's good. So you can spray it around some of the other vacuum lines just to look for vacuum leaks, but I don't see any issues here. and I don't see any code just yet, so let me spray around a little more. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.